Hi, this is N2RNA. I'm making this little video to show how to program non-standard offsets into the ICOM 7100. And I'm making this because I recently moved and we have a repeater in the area with a non-standard offset, plus one. Um, as you probably know, the standard offsets are plus or minus 600 kilohertz in two meters or plus or minus five megahertz in 70 centimeters. And there's a couple of other um, standard offsets, but um, there are non-standard offsets as well, and you run into them. So trying to program uh, this station in, and I found that on the 7100, it has an automatic um, standard offset, and I didn't find a way to override that. And I figured it must be super easy, um, because a lot of people have non-standard offsets, and people would talk about this. And I looked on YouTube, and I... I didn't find something easily. There might be videos out there. I don't want to say there aren't, but I didn't find them. So I asked around thinking, well, somebody's got to know. And I was very surprised that although a lot of my ham friends have um, IC 7100s, no one seemed to know how to do this other than what I'm going to show you. So it's super simple, um, but just uh, for the people out there who get stymied by something that simple, I want to show you what to do. And the secret is split. So if you're already thinking to yourself, oh, didn't she try split? Yeah, that's the answer. So you can save yourself another two minutes. But let me let me show uh, for people like me who didn't know this a few weeks ago, let me show you. So the first thing to do, I hope that you guys can see the buttons on this. This is my 7100. I You go to an empty channel. So I have, let's go to 20 because it's a nice even channel. So you want to start dialing in my station that I'm trying, my repeater that I'm trying to connect to is 146.430 with the plus one megahertz offset. So let's go here, right? So 146, and then we're going to go down to 430. I evidently slowly, I'd reset it, but I thought it would be a lot quicker than this. So this is fun. All right, let's... Let's get this. Let's try 20. I'm sure this is going to bring me to grief. Yep. Okay. 146.4. Yep. <laughs> Three. Okay. We're right there. Okay. And then let's set the tone. So you go through the menu. Tone. Touch it. The tone is on. The screen will show you that right here. Long press. Oops, get that back to where we want it. Long press, and the repeater tone in this case is 173.8, so let's dial that in. 173.8, okay. So now we've got the tone and the station. Let me touch tone again because it seems to be off. And it's it's an FM station. So here's the here's the magic, this is where I was very glad to find out how to do this. Go to split, split. And now we want to do the offset manually. The next piece of magic is switch AB. So now the B channel, your outgoing channel, your, your downlink, and we want to set that to 147.430. So let's dial that up, 147, up, 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 four, two, five, three, oh, very good. And now we're going to press, boop, tone, tone is on, long press, long press, baby, come on, doesn't like my finger, here we go, okay, and we want 173.8, the uplink and the downlink are the same, do, 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 do. Oop, just passed it, okay, hit the menu, and the last piece is you want to make sure that you've got it in the right order. So you want to hit AB again. So this is now your uplink with the tone is set and the 147.43 downlink. So I will, I don't think I can hit this repeater, but let's see. This is N2RNA testing. So you can see it worked right, even though we're not hearing anything. And the last piece, save it, memory right. So now this is channel 20. So for anyone who didn't know how to do this, I hope this saved you a little bit of time. And for now, this is N2RNA, and I am clear.